Hello YouTube family. It's uh, Saturday, January 30th, 2021. And uh, today's video is going to be about our water storage. Um, got my daughters and my granddaughter out there enjoying the sunny day. It almost feels like spring out here today. Uh, so guys, um, this is the tank that I have. It's uh, 275 gallons of water. Holds, uh, yeah, 275 gallons of water. And I uh, set up this little thing here to, you know, um, turn it off and on. It's a little rig, but <clears throat> um, kind of overdid it a little bit. But, I mean, it was I was just kind of for function. Um, I just got this 55-gallon barrel last night. Uh, I'm going to wash it out and stuff like that, whatever I need to do. Um, this water that I have out here is mainly for, um, it, it, it's not really for drinking per se for the house. It's in case, um, but it, although it, we can drink it, um, it's going to be mainly for in case the water gets shut down or whatever. Um, we'll use it for like hygiene purposes, like flushing the toilet, washing our hands, um, water for our dogs. There's Charlotte, our, uh, our goat. She's eaten probably about, <clears throat> this girl here has eaten maybe like six or seven of our fruit trees, like to where they just, she killed them. So there you go. There's Charlotte, the infamous Charlotte. So uh, guys, this 275 gallon container, um, what I did, uh, what I did, although I did use uh, water from the tap, uh, through the water hose, I, I poured water in there. Um, what I ended up doing was, um, I, I still added, um, chlorine bleach, uh, in particular, I, I believe it's called sodium hypochlorite, I believe. Anyway, um, it's, uh, I'm trying to get, uh, I believe it is about... I'm trying to remember how many. It's nine milliliters for every 50 gallons. Um, I have to check check my math, um, but I, I believe it is. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I, I'll, I'll have to check on that. Um, I had it written down. Um, let me see. I did for this for this 275. It's it's nine yeah nine milliliters for every fifty gallons. So I ended up using forty seven milliliters of chlorine bleach, uh, you know, uh, sodium hypochlorite. Um, I'll probably be doing the same to this container. Uh, it'd be good for a rain barrel, but uh, we don't really get that much rain like that, like to where it pours down. Uh, so um, out here, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a. Uh, it's it's February. No, we're not even in February yet. Um, the weather down here in Texas, it, it's not too bad. Uh, the the winters are very short. They're very mild. Although every once in a while we do get a cold snap, but uh, um, we'll be getting our gardens ready. And our garden this year will be on this spot. Um, here are my dogs and the kids messing around. Um. We're gonna be planting that spot right there is where we plant our watermelon and cantaloupe. Um, the dogs took a liking to it, so I'm gonna have to fence off my gardens this year. Uh, this area that you see right there, the center covered with leaves, um, that's that's really where we planted all our garden. But this year, I'm gonna have to uh, enclose it with a fence um, because Charlotte, uh, she'll pretty much, she won't let it grow. Uh, our dogs probably will get in there, so. It's a nice little area uh, for a garden. Um, over here, I don't know if you can see it, but she ate our uh, she ate our uh, the grapefruit tree. Um, it was this was a year that it was probably going to a fruit. Um, she like ate it to the nub. I had to build this, throw together this little fence, but look at what she did to it, buddy. Quiet, <laughs> buddy. Behave. Yeah. So as you can see, uh, it's still alive, but barely. We'll see. 
so uh yeah our chickens we're gonna get some chickens too um it's been probably like a couple of years that we haven't had any because um our dogs just wouldn't leave them alone but uh i have a corral back there that i'm gonna probably put the chickens back there um so that they can roam free and stuff uh have a little corral but uh, anyway guys i just wanted to shoot this quick quick video for y'all and tell y'all about the how i disinfect the water um very basic um we're cleaning up out here um we're getting rid of um uh, just getting ready for the spring although we still got two full months basically but uh it's a uh, like i said the growing season here is very long here in texas so i'm really happy this weather is beautiful um yeah it's it feels like a spring day guys uh, so anyway um also before i forget we do have we do have water inside um we, we i try to have at least uh let me see i try to have at least 10 32 uh, by, uh 32 quantity uh the cases uh 32 uh bottles i like to have 10 of those um and i'm planning on ordering my berkey so um anyway guys that's that's the the next thing also today i went and bought some heirloom seeds uh from lowe's um although my wife has a a, a box and i knew she had some in there but I, I i i went and checked it today when i got back and i was very surprised pleasantly surprised to see that we have a lot of seeds so um we're gonna be adding to that also so this year probably be, will be probably will be the first year where we very seriously do a garden uh uh with you know sometimes it's usually like a project it's usually a project um it's for fun if you know what i'm saying but this time it's uh, gonna be a little bit more serious uh i think that we have one year i think we have a year at least of hold on mama hold on baby um we have one year where we can kind of um uh, maybe experiment or learn you know we have a year where we can learn from our mistakes um but uh so this is the year where we're gonna um see how we do uh i have a friend up there uh vicky if you're listening vicky don holt uh she's pretty good at um i wish she was down here help us out with this garden but um she she'd probably make everything grow out here uh so yeah um yeah guys well it's a beautiful day i just wanted to share it with y'all shoot a little video short video we're cleaning up out here and uh, just enjoying the day so uh anyway guys y'all have a blessed day out there take care of each other and love each other out there because that's what we're here for okay goodbye